you know, there, there is so much hype and anticipation of the game that it kind of makes you believe that you hope it lives up to the hype, you know. But uh, I, I think it will. I, I think it's whenever there's, you have one team that's, it's, it's like David and Goliath a little bit. You know, you have an SEC team going for the seventh straight, and it's Nick Saban going for three of the last four. When you have that kind of situation, and you have Notre Dame with their tradition, yet they haven't been here since 88, it just adds so much more hype and, and uh, drama to the whole game. I think he's got a, I think he's gotten better. I don't look at the numbers necessarily. I just I kind of look at the decision making. I think he's gotten better. I think uh, as the year has gone on, and I think a lot of that has to do with the running the ball a little bit better. I think he's gotten more confident. I think he's got a little bit more of a swagger about him, the way he's making better decisions down in that area. But he's gonna. I mean, for them to have any chance of pulling this upset off, not only does the defense have to play well, uh, he's gonna have to make a lot of plays. You know, not just with his feet that we talk about, but with his arm. And his ability to throw the football will be big in this game. They've got to get they've got to get Tyler isolated. They're going to move him around quite a bit. They've got to get him isolated in matchups that are favorable. Use his size to be able to make some big plays for him, especially on third down. And then I really think Theo Riddick could be a guy that, uh, to me, he's been exceptional all year. He really has got to be able to step up. Again, another guy when you get him in some one-on-one -on -one matchups in the slot, he's got to win those. If you if you studied Alabama when they played LSU and they played Texas A&M and when they played Georgia. This is a different Alabama defense than the defense that we saw last year where they were just like the Baltimore Ravens with Ray Lewis and the defense we're seeing this year. They're still good, but they are not as, as dominant physically. Uh, they don't have a dominant pass rusher. They're not covering as well. So if the quarterback's the key, when you go back and look at, at those three games I mentioned, the Georgia A&M and LSU game, all three of those games the quarterbacks played well and they threw the ball accurately. So if Golson can do that, then, then they got a shot. I think it really just depends on the flow of the game. I, I think it depends on how things are dictated upon each offense. You know, who can who can win the battle in the line of scrimmage is ultimately going to affect which defense has to kind of all of a sudden make that adjustment. Uh, you know, going in the battle clearly, it's going to determine the outcome. Is going to be Alabama's offensive line led by Barrett Jones with those two backs. And Eddie in practice the other day, I didn't realize he can be that quick. He looks as good as I've ever seen him. I, I, you know, he, that turf toe really bothered him. It was, really wasn't until the last couple games we saw what he can do. So you have that physical offensive line, and then you have the physical backs against the Notre Dame front seven. I mean, Notre Dame's front seven has been their strength all year. Can they stay in that front seven and defend the run, or do they have to get their safeties down? If their safeties come down, that's a big concern for Notre Dame because that's when A.J. McCarron can try to go downfield in the passing game. So say Alabama goes up 7-0, 10-0, do they come with zone blitzes to, to, draw, to try and confuse goals I, there? I think they're coming after goals. I, I, if I'm Alabama, I, I think one thing they – they probably learned by playing against Johnny Manziel was there a lot of times they, they rushed three or four and they kind of kept people back. I, I think you've got to try to come after an athletic quarterback and, and try to dictate things to him as opposed to him dictating it to you. Um, so I would guess they'll be pretty aggressive with their approach no matter what the score is. Thanks.